We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. Daniel Rotten Craig CMG born 2 March 1968 is an English actor. He gained international fame playing the secret agent James Bond in five installments in the film series, from Casino Royale up to No Time to Die. After training at the National Youth Theatre in London and graduating from the Guildhall School of Music and Drama in 1991, Craig began his career on stage. In 2006, Craig played Bond in Casino Royale, a reboot of the Bond franchise which was favorably received by critics and earned Craig a nomination for the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. For his performance as Detective Benoit Blanc in the comedy mystery films Knives Out and Glass Onion, he received two Golden Globe Award nominations. His father, Timothy John Rotten Craig, was a merchant seaman turned steel erector, and then became landlord of the Ring O' Bells pub in Frodsham, Cheshire. His mother, Carol Olivia, was an art teacher. His parents split up in 1972, and young Daniel was raised with his older sister, Lee, in Liverpool, then in Hoylake, Wirral, in the home of his mother. His interest in acting was encouraged by visits to the Liverpool Everyman Theatre arranged by his mother. From the age of six, Craig started acting in school plays, making his debut in the Frodsham Primary School production of Oliver, and his mother was the driving force behind his artistic aspirations. The first Bond movie he ever saw at the cinema was Roger Moore's song Va Hey Chet 1973. Young Daniel Craig saw it with his father, so it took a special place in his heart. He was also a good athlete and was a rugby player at Hoylake Rugby Club. Craig was first approached by Eon Productions to portray James Bond in 2005. He was initially hesitant about taking the role, and producers had to work hard to woo him. When he did accept the role, there was a significant amount of backlash and controversy over his casting. For many, Craig did not fit the previous image of the Bond character that they had become used to. However, Craig also had many vocal supporters, which included many of the actors that had previously portrayed Bond. Me. Why should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. The first Bond movie with Craig as the lead and the 21st film in the Bond franchise, Casino Royale, was released in November 2006. It was wildly successful, despite the initial casting controversy, and grossed a total of over $500 million worldwide. This made it the highest-grossing Bond film at the time. Craig's performance was widely praised by critics, and he would go on to star in four more Bond films. He has confirmed that No Time to Die is his last Bond film. After adjusting for inflation, Craig's first four Bond films, which were released by Sony, earned a combined gross of $3.5 billion globally. Additionally, he has provided his voice for the characters of pirate Ivan Ivanovich Sakharin and Red Rackham in Steven Spielberg's animated film The Adventures of Tintin 2011. Craig married actress Fiona Loudon in 1992, and they divorced in 1994. Together, they share one daughter, Ella. He then was romantically linked to German actress Heike McCatch and film producer Satsuki Mitchell. He married actress Rachel Weiss in June 2011, after less than a year of dating, and they have a daughter, born in 2018. He is stepfather to Weiss' son with director Darren Aronofsky, her former partner. Craig has said he won't leave an inheritance for his children, saying he finds the practice distasteful. He's also said, isn't there an old adage that if you die a rich person, you failed? I think Andrew Carnegie gave away what in today's money would be about $11 billion, which shows how rich he was because ill bet he kept some of it, too. Daniel Craig and his wife, fellow actor, Rachel Weiss, are both very successful and wealthy humans, so it's no surprise they've decided to invest some of their collective millions in premium real estate. In 2019, the couple sold their 3,200-square-foot East Village apartment for $6 million after dropping $6.75 million on a Brooklyn brownstone the year before. 
According to Celebrity Net Worth, Craig also owns a two-floor flat near London's Regent's Park. A 2008 report about the purchase said he paid £4 million for it. Between his massive active paychecks and savvy real estate investments, Craig is currently worth a total of $160 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. But, JSYK, the actor has no intention of leaving all that money to his kids. In a 2021 interview with Candy's magazine, he opened up about his philosophy about wealth and inheritance and made it clear that he's in favor of giving his riches away to good causes over giving them to his offspring. Isn't there an old adage that if you die a rich person, you've failed? He said in the interview, according to CNBC, adding that it's distasteful to leave big inheritances. My philosophy is get rid of it or give it away before you go. We don't know about all of his cars, because Craig is quite secretive about his personal life. He's not like these celebrities who are on Instagram flashing everything opulent they own, which we have to admire. However, one car that generated a lot of media attention was a 2014 Aston Martin Centenary Edition Vanquish made for him specifically, which was auctioned off a few years ago. Just like his British spy character, Daniel Craig is a fan of Aston Martin. This car was used in one of the James Bond movies and reportedly Craig was given one of the film cars once production wrapped. No other car is so inextricably tied to the James Bond series as the Aston Martin DB5, so it's not surprising Craig owns one. It's speculated Craig has one of these non-production Aston Martin DB10 sitting in his garage, but there's no official confirmation one way or another. These were beautiful vehicles but almost all of the interiors were messy since most were simply crashed during the filming of Spectre. But it's possible the actor was given one of the few survivors as a keepsake from the movie set. If so, expect to see it cross some auction block in a few decades and fetch some unbelievable price. When the man wants to travel in style and the lap of luxury, this big British sedan is certainly a good option. Known for its plush interior, something the British automaker certainly excels at, this car is on the wish list of many in England and elsewhere. Craig reportedly was given a Land Rover Range Rover Sport since Jaguar Land Rover has close ties with the James Bond movies. 007 is often behind the wheel of such proudly British cars and specifically had a Range Rover Sport. Plus, Craig starred in an advertisement for the luxury SUV, so we're guessing his contact specified that he received one as part of his payment for services rendered. Featured in one of the James Bond movies, this isn't the type of vehicle you'd expect anyone who has plenty of money to bother driving. But maybe that's the point, because most people wouldn't be looking for Daniel Craig behind the wheel of a pretty mundane midsize sedan, so this allows him to fly under the radar when he so chooses. Daniel Craig lives in New York's Tribeca neighborhood. The two-floor penthouse is 1,121 square feet and features one bedroom, two bathrooms and three terraces. Access to the penthouse is via an elevator. The dining area has a vaulted ceiling of glass 20 feet high, and a wall of glass with a terrace and city view. The penthouse has a small-sized kitchen with white marble countertops and white cabinets. The master suite has chestnut-colored hardwood floors, two closets, one a walk-in closet, and a small balcony overhanging the terrace. Craig also owns a two-floor flat in a house located near London's Regent's Park.